This is an 083 300 3300 with your views. Now, there's been a lot of talk about how much Ireland has changed over the years. Societal, economic, infrastructural and religious changes have been dramatic and, in fairness, not always painless processes. In his repost to the Vatican's lack of response to the Cloyne report, Antishik Enda Kenny a while back declared, this is the Republic of Ireland 2011. So, in that changing society, many people have developed their beliefs beyond the norm. Paul Bowler is one such gentleman and he's in studio with me. Paul. First of all, Paul, you're 37 and you're an atheist. The whole thing with atheism, uh, there's a lot of confusion that surrounds it normally because people aren't actually, it's been around for as long as religion has been around. But people still aren't 100% sure what exactly it is. There's a whole confusion between being agnostic and being atheist. What's the difference and what exactly atheism is? And I was looking up this ahead of the interview and I was looking for a definition of atheism and I was, from, I was actually surprised by there's so much disagreement out there as to actually what it is. It's remarkable. It, it is a, it's a broad church, if I want a better phrase. Yeah. Um, I understand the atheism as not a belief but as an absence of belief. Mm. There's... Three, it's three strands. There's the belief in magic. There's the belief that magic may exist. And then there is no belief in the possibility of magic. Mm. And I would be an atheist who, agnostic would believe there's, we don't know. It could, it could exist. I'm an atheist. I prefer to think at some point in the future, scientists will finally work out how did it all begin. And I'm of the opinion that once they reveal how it all began? It won't be the face of God. It'll be, oh, that's how it happened. So the that's, information will be there, yes. facts. And it'll be understandable. And that, for me, is what an atheist is. I think for a long... I can understand why religions developed. Mm. The amount of gaps in our knowledge, even today, are huge. And what people tend to do is that if there's an absence of they knowledge, fill they fill it. There be God. Mm. That's and I, I believed that myself for a long time. I was like, I, I was like, I was a Catholic, then I was a Christian, then I was agnostic. It's only relatively recently I, I thought, no, none of that actually holds any water. Atheism is, atheism is a rational uh, way to look at the world. Yeah. When you look at the way Ireland has changed over the last while, um, the secularisation that's out there, and obviously lots of things have happened um, over the last 30 years that have changed this country forever, mm. um, but still, even outside of that, is atheism seen as a, being seen or seen by people as a big break with social norms? The last census, the one before last, we haven't got the figures from this census. Mm. But it's 2006. Yeah. yeah. The, um, the largest group behind um, Roman Catholic is non-religious we're a fairly now it's a tiny group compared to Catholics, Catholics yes mm. but we're, there's more of us than the Protestants there's more of us than Muslims more of us than Jews there, we're, we're not an insignificant group of people yeah um, but we're not into uh, secularism is different from atheism my understanding of secularism is develop or is developing a system where we all live Side by side, side, by side. comfortable with each other's exactly. beliefs. Take, for example, in my lifetime, and I still think 37 relatively young, mm. we had a divorce referendum. Mm. Now, I was, I'm still stunned sometimes when I think, wow, in my lifetime, people were not allowed to get divorced. And that was Catholic dogma. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I'm happy enough, if you're a Catholic, you should, you should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. But don't you dare tell me I, can't, I have to live uh, by your rules. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I see a secular, a secular society is separating your beliefs from my laws. Yeah. And that's how I, I would prefer to see secularism develop. But again, it's not, we want to spread atheism. I would never try and convince somebody of atheism. You're not going to be proselytizing? No, for it's too, it's too, it's, it's kind of a harsh um, reality being an atheist. It's not, you have to, I think it's something you have to come to organically. Yeah. You can't, I, I'm happy to defend atheism. I'll fight my corner any opportunity. I love talking about it. You but won't be out there with a megaphone no, on the street corner. No, because as I said, it's, it's, it's a... Once you... The realisation that life is ultimately meaningless, that's... You know, you have it's to... Really hard to take. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that, so you have to, I think, come to that through your own reading mm. over time. Can I ask you, you don't go around and, you know, telling people, hey, I'm an atheist, but... When it comes up in conversation, when you meet people, they get to know you better, your friends or maybe new, new people that you meet, and it becomes a thing. How do they react? 
Are they, is there still a fear there? Do people go, whoa, I, I whoa? Don't, I don't think there's, there's a fear. I think, I, quite honest, this sounds a bit, um, a bit cynical. The vast majority of people just don't care. They don't care if you're a Catholic, they don't care if you're atheists. It just, the vast majority of people are wondering, must pay the mortgage, have to go to work. All that stuff is, people like me are nerdish. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm interested in stuff like this. Yeah. But for the majority of people, they're raising families and, and, and they're, they're going to work. This, they're too busy with their lives yeah, to get that exercise yeah, the body. Exactly. I think that's, again, I found very funny. I'm on Twitter and I was following a lot of debates during the, the last census. Mm. And the number of people who said, adults who said, oh, I didn't fill in the, I'm an atheist, but my mother filled in the uh, census form for me, she should be now Catholic. Asher. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the majority. Do you know what I mean? You have a certain, certain amount of people, weirdos like me and, and Catholic mothers who take it seriously. Yeah. Most people, no. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's more important things to be worrying about. Yeah. So, when you look at your life and I suppose look at relationships that you might have, uh, if you were in a, a situation where you met a woman and she was religious, how would that work? I would find that difficult. I would find it difficult because um, you aren't about... Two adults can deal with a fundamental uh, clash mm. in, in, in their perception of reality. But if you have a child, that would be a struggle. Yeah. That would be a struggle. Um I, but quite honest, as, as as strong as I'm an atheist, I, I was raised as a Catholic. So, despite my not believing in Catholicism, not believing in God, I'd probably just defer. Do you know what I mean? For the uh, for the chi- until the child is of an age where he can make his or her own, he can make or she can make their own mind up, and they realise well, he doesn't believe in any of that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Until they are old enough to realise, oh, he's being a hypocrite, I probably would just def- defer. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I would prefer if it came down to another atheist, but it would be a shot in the dark for me because, as I said, I, un- I remember my own childhood. Mm. I remember being brought up to believe in magic. Yeah. So I probably, w- despite, I said, my, my belief system, I probably would be mm. more inclined to go that What's way. What's it like being an atheist in Kerry? You're not in a big city. You're not in an urban area where these things are, are, are more accepted, you'd imagine. It's, it's not as big a deal as it may be in a more rural area. Or am I getting that wrong? Um be quite honest, being an atheist for me, the, the problems that confront me as an atheist living in Kerry are 99.9% theoretical. Mm. Don't have a child, so I don't have to worry about uh, a, a, non, or, uh, a non-religious school. Yeah. Um, I'm not gay, so I don't have to worry about uh, marriage rights or having adoption rights. Yeah. I, um, I don't have a debilitating disease, so I don't have to worry about when and how I, I choose to die. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's it's what might happen in the future yeah. that concerns me. That's why, again, I will come on to the radio and speak about atheism and secularism. You know, mm. um, is that at some point in the future, I may have a child, and I would like that child, if it, it's up to me, have a, an education free of indoctrination, or. Uh, if I do, unfortunately, con- contract a debilitating disease, I want the right to end my life in a comfortable fashion, in a, in a method I choose. Yeah. Things like that, that I would rail against, that other people's values are being imposed on me. Yeah. You yeah. Know? But again, at the moment, it's all theoretical. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's all theory. It's all, and it's all a, fun, it's a fun conversation, a good argument. Yeah. But at some point, it will become, it may become a, a serious issue. Are people becoming more acceptive or, or accepting? What, like, what's the, the strangest response you've ever got to somebody who I met, like, you told them you were atheist? I met a Muslim woman once who'd never met an atheist before, and she was stunned. Couldn't I, believe it. Couldn't, because couldn't, like... Couldn't understand what? it. Do you know what I mean? It, it couldn't fathom the, 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 the... And I understood that, because when I... The first time I met an atheist, I was 21. Yeah. I was stunned. Like, what? I, yeah. I, I, even at 21, I couldn't fathom. There's no purpose. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that, that's why I'm saying I've never pr- uh, try and convert to someone, someone to atheism. I came to it in my early 30s. Yeah. And I was ready for it because it was like a long journey from... When you started out Roman yeah, Catholic? Yeah, 11, 12, I started thinking seriously about it. I, used to, I was an altar boy, I prayed. By the time I was 14, I stopped being Catholic because my mother encouraged me to read. And yeah. any kind of reading of Catholic history is like, oh, please, you know. Yeah. But I was still a Christian, and you know what I mean? And if someone told me that then, no, I'd be like, 
Like, wouldn't it? I would have found that very hard to deal with. Yeah. You know? When you see things happen, like, um, just to finally, and it's an issue that's facing the, the Catholic Church at the moment, and, and all churches to an extent, we need, like, the, the Cloyne Report and the abuses that were there and the crisis that's there and falling and church numbers. What do you think about that? Do you give it any thought at all? or I... I <laughs> I do give it a thought. Uh, it's not my place to lecture Catholics because I'm not one anymore. Mm. If I was a Catholic, I think I'd be, I would be on, I would be quite angry at this point. You know, yeah. I think if a child of mine now went to a Catholic school, I think they'd be relatively safe now. I do mm. think it, p- things have progressed that you can send a child to Catholic there school. There are procedures I, in place, exactly, and yes. things have been watched. And but I, I, for me, again, as I said earlier, on most people are not exercised by this issue, as in belief. Mm. They like it, They like going to church for their ceremonies or they don't go to... They, so it's not really important to most Catholics who call themselves Catholics, mm. you know? Those who are really fundamentalist Catholic, then the church really can't do any wrong anyway, so mm. they're safe, they're, they're, they're okay. Do you, know the, you can understand people are out there who've got strong faith and it's oh, kept yeah. them through very difficult times in their oh, lives yeah. and, and they believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, yes. Um, as I said, again, I would never try to convert someone. Completely. I have found in my past, being an atheist has helped me overcome issues. Um, but it helped you think your way through things. It helped me get, but also even emotional uh, um, problems. I've, I've had. It was like, okay, you can make, you have a choice here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, from a philosophical point of view, philosophical point of view, there is no point, but. Better. Being alive is better than not being alive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> life is quite good. I think that's uh, something that maybe everyone can agree on. I think so. Um, whatever religion or whatever belief they yeah. have. That's where we leave it, Paul. Thanks very much for talking to us this morning. Paul Bowler, they're giving us his views. Interesting comments from him. Interesting ideas. If you have any thoughts on it, we'd love to hear from you. 66 7123 One of those questions about the changing Irish society and different beliefs that people have. Uh, get your thoughts into us. Right now, we'll take today's community diary.